question 36 um, I have the picture coming off part of the paper but you get the idea of what it's supposed to be right <coughs> the circle would continue around here Let's see if I can mm -mm. Let me try and do a better job at completing the circle. Well, somewhat like that. But well, you get the idea. Pause the video. Take um, a minute and a half to two minutes to complete this. And then come back to it. <coughs> Alright. What did you get as an answer? Let's see what happened here. Um, in the diagram, O is the center of. Well, yes, this should have been a T H E of the circle. So this is O. Center of the circle and A C equal A B, uh, A C equal B C, A C equal B C. Okay, the same length. And they also show it by the two strokes on AC and the two strokes on BC that they are the same length. Angle AOB, angle AOB, this angle, is 140 degrees. Angle OBC is, angle OBC is, so the angle that they want is this angle right here now what is it is it 20 20 35 55 or 70 now the thing is even though it might not be drawn to scale 140 degrees this kind of look like it could possibly be 140 more than 90 All right now if this is about 140 degrees then this angle would be a small angle so 70 ridiculously wrong 55 is kind of too big I believe there's a contention here between 20 and 35 but you can actually work it out all right let's look at how we can work it out here now let us see what other angle we can find from early i have 140 here i know that a o b this triangle is an isosceles triangle because a o is one side which is a radius of the circle and BO is also the radius of the circle. So AO and BO are equal. What that means is that this angle and this angle must be equal. Now, let's, let's call this something. Let's call this X or whatever. Alright. 140 plus X plus X equals 180 because all of them add up internal angles add up to 180 so I can say 140 plus 2x equal 180 2x is if I should subtract 140 from both sides minus 140 minus 140 140 minus itself that's gone so it's 2x equal 140 minus 180 is 40 then I divide by 2 2 x is equal to 40 divide by 2 divide by 2 2 cancel 2 so x equal 20 or i could say 2 times which number give you 40 it's 20 2 by 20 give you 40 so x must be 20 so x is 20 so here i have 20 here 20 degrees and 20 degrees all right 
No, how does that help us? All right, let's look at this. I remember the circle theorem that when you have an angle that lie on a chord, the chord I'm talking about is this chord, this 140 lie on the chord at the center is going to be twice the angle that lie on the chord, the same chord at the circumference. So up here, the angle that you have up here must be half of 140 which is 70 degrees. So the thing is 70 plus this plus this equals 180 because when you talk about the triangle ABC that's the triangle we're talking about the internal angles add up to 180. So the triangle that we're talking about here is the triangle this ABC now this 70 what we have here is 70 plus what we call this now call this Y plus Y plus Y equals 180 so y plus y is 2y 70 plus that equal 180 if we say minus 70 minus 70 70 minus itself that's gone so we have 2y equal 180 minus 70 would be 110 degrees all right 2 times what give you 110 or we could just divide both sides by 2 Let's say y equals 2 into 11 goes 5 times, the remainder 1, 2 into 10, 5, 55 degrees. So all of this here is 55. Now if all of this is 55 and this part is 20, then this here must be 55 minus 20. That gives you what? 35 degrees. So the answer would be 35. So that's 35 degrees. Alright. Well let's look at it another way too. Let me get rid of all of these working. Let's see if I can identify another way to do it. Suppose I say that here uh, first of all let me remark the angle that we want to find that's the angle we want to find suppose I say here that from the angle from here going all the way around back to here it would be 360 this is all 360 now I have 140 here. What that means? Whatever is left here must be this angle must be 360 minus 140. So 0 minus 0, 0. 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 220. Alright? So all of this angle here is 220. You see that? Now, let me just get rid of some of these mark markings. So you see that this angle must be 220. Alright. Now, this is the center of the circle. So if I should draw a line from here. Mm, let me do that again. If I should draw a line from here. the center to see it would cut this angle in two halves it has to be in the middle all right because 
this line OB is the radius of the circle and this line OC is the radius of the same circle. So OB and OC must be equal. It means that this 220 is divided half and half between these sides. So this angle here must be 220. Alright, so it's 220 right here. Let me get rid of some of the unnecessary markings. So this angle is 220 degrees. You see that? No, not 220, 110. 220 over 2. I said all of this is 220. And then you cut the 220 into half. So this would be 110. So let me correct that. Get rid of these. I need to put back my line. Alright. So therefore, this angle is 110. Now, this 110 plus this angle here plus this angle here must be 180 because with it triangle OCB all internal angles add up to 180 so 110 plus mm, what should I call this now let's call this small b and small b those angles would be equal plus b plus b must be equal to 180 b plus b is 2b so 2b so 110 plus 2b is 180 a minus 110 from both sides 110 minus itself has gone so there are 4 about it over here again so it's 2b equals 180 minus 110 so that will be 70 now 2 times what gives you 70 well 2 times 35 gives you 70 so b must be 35 or we could say 2b equals 70 divide by 2 2 cancel itself so b equal divide here by 2 70 over 2 35 so again we get 35 as the answer alright so you have two nice ways you can work out the answer for question 36 so answer for question 36 is B